Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Iris. Good morning, um, everybody. Rocio, Helen, uh, Marjorie, Alba, Lilian, the ones who have Good the camera. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How was that? Okay. Well, everybody. Um, uh, yesterday I sent some videos, all right, to support uh, the topic that we were studying yesterday. Uh, today, at the beginning of the class, we're going to be working with two exercises related with will and going to. Uh, then we're going to have a little practice, a speaking practice we're going to, and then we will move to the next topic that we have to study, all right? Now, uh, let's, I'm going to begin right now the class with this. And... Um, Yesterday, we were talking about will and going to, but we're going to talk about predictions versus plans right now. So um, they are very easy sentences that I was looking for so you can understand this better. Mm, which do you think the correct answer is here? Pay attention to the, to the sentence, to the context, and answer, mm, answer the, the question. Will be. Yeah. So, which is the correct answer, letter A or letter B? Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. All right. Is it a prediction or a plan? A prediction. It's a prediction. Excellent. Very good. It is a prediction. Great. Okay. What about the next one? Are going to have. Are going to have. All right. A plan. B. Yeah. Plan. Yeah. Yes, very good, excellent, great. All right, what about the next one? My phone is broken, so I... I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. Yes, because the phone will... is broken. Uh-huh, so yeah. you, you cannot make predictions like, ah, my phone is broken, so I will. Let me see. I am going very good, yeah, because you have evidence. I mean, your phone is broken. What about the next one? We lost. We'll lose. Lose. Yes, we'll lose. Lose, all right? Lose. 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 We'll lose the match. Remember, everybody, that when we have expressions like I think, I believe, I hope, right? we it is will. Yeah, so I think we will lose the match. Okay, what about the next one? We love. We love. Yes, I think you will love it. Yeah, because you don't know. I mean, you are you are making predictions that the person is, will like the book, right? So read this book. I think you will love it, or you'll love it, right? Some people make uh, the contraction here. Okay, what about the next one? Will be. Will be. Will be. Yes, it is a prediction. Yeah. Nice. I'm very happy. Yeah, yesterday <laughs> you were like, mm, I get it. I don't get it. But right now you, I see that, that you have it clear. I don't know if you watch the videos that I sent. Yes, I watch the videos. Yeah, yeah. I sent one in Spanish and one in English, all right? So you could see that the information in either in Spanish or in English is the same. Okay, very good. What I'm about... going to play... What about the next one? Are going to, play. going to play. My friends and I are going to play tomorrow. Yeah, excellent. A plan. Nice, nice. I'm very happy. Okay. What about the next one? I'm going. I'm going to the beach. I am going to the beach next summer. Great. A plan. All right. What about the next one? Pay attention, pay attention. There, there is a, the, I don't know, there is a microphone in the house. There is a seat. Can you turn it off? Thank you. All right. So what do you think? What do you think this one is? She will going watch to. or she's going to? We'll, we'll watch. watch. We'll watch. We'll watch. Okay. 
Think about it. Think about it. Look at it. Analyze the idea. All right. Is it a prediction or you are talking about a plan? It's I a plan. plan. Because it's, it's it after school. Exactly. Exactly, Rocio. Very good. It is a plan. And this one is obvious. Take a look at this. What is it? We'll have. We'll have. Exactly. We'll have. Only in one you were doubting, but great. I'm very happy. I'm very happy because I don't like my students to tell me, teacher, I have a doubt. No, for me, kill me. Yeah, in my case, I like my students to have everything clear. And I think that what you have to do here, well, now you're doing it better because you, you see the context. And there are some key words, all right? We'll have, yes, the here is we'll have because you are talking about 2050. I mean, the future is uncertain. We don't know about what will happen in 2050. If we are going to be alive, into, if we will be alive in 2050, we don't know. Now, there are some uh, expressions that can help us uh, make the difference between um, prediction and a plan, okay? Yeah, and, and you were paying attention to that this time, yeah? And if you watched the videos that I sent yesterday, those videos had like, like more feedback for you, all right? So if you watch the video, that's great, all right? Because I'm going to send you the resources, but it's up to you if you would like to watch the resources and, and take advantage of them. So in number one, which is the keyword? In number one, which is the keyword? One day. Exactly. One, one day. day. Yeah, we don't know. All right. That's uncertain. What about in number two? Which is the keyword? Next week. Next weekend. Very we good. What about the next one? Which is the keyword? You once next week. Next week. week. All right. Broken. And also broken. Yeah, the phone is broken. Great. What about number four? Which is the keyword or key phrase? I think. I think. I think. Very good. What about number four? Which is the keyword? Eh, sorry, number five. I which think. Is the I think. I think. Yes. What about number six? Uh, when I get when older. older. When I get older. Maybe this is a child of seven years old. I will be rich when I get older. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A child can project to the future. You can say, eh, I don't know if your kids. Uh, tell you, you know, mom, when I grow up, I will be a singer and I will be a, I don't know, a YouTuber, TikToker. I don't know, children would like to be a TikToker, YouTuber nowadays. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Yes. They, yeah, children, think about that. Okay, what about number seven, which is a keyword? Tomorrow. Next Tomorrow. summer. Uh, in number seven. And in number eight, next summer. Yeah. What about number number nine? Number nine was a little like <gasps> after school. After, after school. school, yes, after school. What about number ten? I think twenty fifteen. Claps for you. I'm very happy. All right, because now you understand the difference between going to and will. Yeah, but remember, everybody, what I told you yesterday. Will not only has one use, it has four different uses. Yeah, for example, number one, let me see if you remember. Number one, to talk about predictions in the future, but we don't have a certainty, no tenemos la certeza. We, yes. don't, have the, we don't have the certainty that that will happen. That is use number one. Use number two? For to make spontaneous, 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 spontaneous decisions. decisions. Exactly, spontaneous decisions. Me gustó una frase ayer en un ejercicio that it was on the spot. Yeah, decisions on the spot. That means, yeah, like imagine a guy is texting you and calling you, hey, Rocio, I would like to go out with you. Come on, go out with me. And Rocio says, sorry, but in this moment I can't because later I will go with my mom to church. <laughs> At the moment you made the decision, right? Yeah, on the spot. So that is the second use. Use number three. To make promises. To make promise. promises. Remember, there are a lot of songs. And no, <laughs> or my heart will go on, or um, I don't know, 
there are a lot of problems uh, talking about promises using auxiliary will. Another use from auxiliary will? Mm, to make offers. Make offers. To make offers. Okay, don't worry. No, 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 I will help you. I will help you. You are offering, yeah, to help. And the next one? To make threats. To make threats. Threats. Like, I, Juanito. Okay, clean your room right now or I'll beat you. All right? Well, now in El Salvador, that is not possible because Lepina, right? <laughs> but before, <laughs> yeah, your moms uh, were angry and they punished you. Okay. And we use going to for plans, decisions or, uh, of plans, right? That you that you have made. Plan intentions. And plan intentions. Very good. Excellent. I'm very happy because yesterday at the beginning, that's why I'm, I tell you, don't distract. If you distract a little bit from your class, you're going to lose the, the how can I say? Um, you're going to lose everything. I mean, if you lose concentration, because these kind of topics are kind of confusing. But now I can see that you understand and you see the difference perfectly, and I'm very happy for that. Well, so right now... Um, I'm going to, or I'm, I'm going to show you a little exercise. Well, the exercise that I showed you was this, yeah, predictions uh, versus plans. And right now, we're going to discuss some questions, but these questions are only with going to, okay? These questions are only using going to, teacher, and, or this is a question from me to you. Have you ever heard people using I have even used it. Gonna. Have you ever have you ever heard people using gonna when speaking English? Yes. 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 And do you yes. know the meaning of that? Do you do you know the meaning of yes. that? Yes. It's like going to, going to exactly. Going to. It, exactly. It's going to in the informal way. Teacher, is it is it bad to use it? No. It is not incorrect to use it. I mean, you can use it when you are speaking English. Suena mejor. Más natural para ellos, right? When I say para ellos, it's uh, people who speak in English natively, right? Americans, for example. Uh, British people, no. British people prefer long forms. They do not like contractions. They prefer long forms because they are more formal. So these kind of contractions are informal for American English. Now, if you would like to use it, use it. There's no problem. But sure, and if I'm typing a letter, for example, at the call center, I'm going to work in the future. Is it correct if I type gonna? No, no. For typing or writing or sending a letter, sending an email, texting to your friends, yes. But something formal, no, okay? Yeah, because there are people and there are students that when they are typing or they are texting or they are writing, they also do it with gonna. Yes, I'm. I'm gonna. Uh, um, solo lean esto. Ahora el idioma está tan deformado con contractions. It's like, I'm uh, go. Right? It's like, what's that? It's I am gonna. Uh, yeah. So it's this is something informal. No, for typing, it's like I'm going to visit. For example, I'm going to visit. But also, you can say I'm gonna visit. For a person who is listening to you speaking is more, um, how can I say, it's more familiar to listen the Ghana. Yes? Because if not, they say, ah, you are speaking in English, but your English, when well, a mí me lo dijeron una vez en Estados Unidos, eh, somebody told me that my English, but I'm talking to you about, oof, long time ago, in 2000, you see, 2005, 2006, like, 12 years ago, and one person told me, oh, you don't, you are not from the United States, right? You come from another country. And I said, yes, why? Oh, because your English is English from a book. That's what the person <laughs> told me. That's what the person told me. And I didn't understand by that time because I had like, well, I began to study English in 1999. And I'm talking about 2006, 1999, 12, 2000, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. I had seven years of speaking English. 
And when that person told me, your English is English from a book, I was like, why that person told me that? And that person told me that because they are not used to use the long forms. They use contractions, informal contractions, gonna, wanna. That's why she told me that my book was English from a book. So in that day, I decided to study and to see the both, I mean, both faces of English, formal and informal. And where do you think you can find informal English, the real English? Where? Tell me, where? Serious and movies. Exactly. Serious, movies, songs, real English is there. So teacher, the English that we study here is not real. It is formal English. ¿Mm? For that reason, si usted está aprendiendo el inglés como un idioma extranjero, si sus siglas son EFL or English as a foreign language, you have to learn the language formally. Formally. Okay? But if you would like to learn informal English, watch movies, listen to music. You get it? Yeah? All right, so okay. in your practice in this moment, if you would like to say gonna, I don't have any problem with that. For example, what are you gonna do with your life? Question number one would be like that. If you use the informal contraction, what are you gonna do with your life? Que suena más natural. What are you going to do with your life or what are you gonna do with your life? What is more natural? Gonna. 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 Exactly, because that's what people use. So in your practice, if we would like to use it, use it. But on the exam, no, okay? All right, so I'm going to take a screenshot from these questions. I don't know if you have if you have a question, guys. Do you have any Teacher, question? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I Ask have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when we use, for example, the word because, uh, we use contraction with cause. Uh, well, there are people who use it, right? We use because because we are used to use because. But people, when they speak English, they say cause. But we need contraction, right? Before well, the word cause. Uh, it's because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you this. Because is this word, right? But people pronounce it like cause. Or they do this. They pronounce it like that. Or they do this. They say cause. And they, and they type an apostrophe. But the correct, I mean, the correct word is cause. And because. But people are so like, they use a lot of contractions and they say cause. Because I say so. Right? There is an expression in English, porque yo digo. How do you say porque yo digo in English? Because I say so. It's because I say so. But people don't say because I say so. They say because I say so. Quickly. Right? And they and that's yeah. why you don't understand people, American people when they speak English. Because they speak English fast and with a lot of contractions. So what do you have to do? You have to learn to use contractions. Mm -hmm. Got it? Estamos acostumbrados a hablar yeah. inglés del libro, ¿me entienden? Ya estamos acostumbrados a eso. Entonces hay que como, como tener un poquito más de contacto con el idioma para poder sonar un poquito más natural. ¿Ya? Yeah? For example, Emerson, mm -hmm. this, this question is for you. Yeah. ¿Qué suena para ti más natural? To say eh, come in or to say enter? Come in. Yeah, come in. Hey, yeah, come in. Yeah, we don't say enter, but come in. Este es un phrasal verb, and the meaning is enter. But we use more phrasal verbs because phrasal verbs are part of the natural language, as well as as well as um idioms. For example, how do you say en un abrir y cerrar de ojos in English? I'm not sure. No, no idea, guys. Do you know no. how to say en un abrir y cerrar de ojos? All right, in no. English you say no. in a blink, in the blink of an eye. All right, in the blink of an eye or in a in the blink of an eye. Yeah, the blink of an eye. So you say, you know, teacher, yesterday I let my door open and in the blink of an eye a dog came in. ¿Qué dijo? Oye, yo sé que es inglés, pero a saber qué dijo, right? ¿Por qué? Porque la mayoría del idioma inglés, ellos usan mucho phrasal verbs y muchos idioms. ¿No les ha pasado que están viendo televisión en inglés? Subtitles en in inglés, pero dijeron una cosa 
y la traducen de otra forma. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Idioms and phrasal verbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for that reason, my recommendation is keep in touch more with the language. All right. Well, I, I will send a very interesting question, Emma. Sorry. I will send the picture right now so we can discuss these questions. Uh, well, the picture is in the chat. Can you see the picture? Yes. And the, yeah, and the most important thing, when you are practicing English in mini groups, don't be afraid. Speak. It doesn't matter if you don't if you make mistakes, it doesn't matter. ¿Cuánto tienen de estudiar inglés ahorita? Les hago esa pregunta. How long have you been studying English? Uh, five months. Five months. Five months. ¿Quiénes empezaron desde cero? Zero. Me. 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 Compárense cuando empezaron el primer día hasta hoy. ¿Han avanzado o no? Yes. yes. ¿Y en cuánto yes. tiempo? Teacher, ¿Y en cuánto tiempo? Six months. Six yes. months. Han logrado. One year. One year. Ok. Han logrado. Pero aún one year es poquito. Han logrado mucho. Two years. Thank Han you. logrado mucho. You have achieved a lot. Así que no te, oh, yeah, I would like to speak English perfectly. All right, no, we make mistakes. I make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, right? So, but practice. If you practice, you're going to be better and better and better and better. Okay? So, I'm going to make some groups right now, and I would like you to discuss these questions, all right? I would like everybody to speak. So, I'm going to make five groups. Let's see, five is uh, five groups, all right? So if you can share a screen and you can share the picture, it would be great. Okay, so let me see. America, Karen, uh, Marvin. Where is Marvin? Marvin, Marvin. Yes. Mm, yeah, Marvin. I don't see Peña Ortiz. Ah, yeah, you are here, Marvin, right? Peña Ortiz, Marvin. Uh, there. Well, if there is a person who can't share the screen, let me know. All right, I'm gonna give you some minutes. Let's let's go and, and practice right now. We're gonna practice only with going to. So I mean, plans, decisions, uh, plan intentions, etc. Okay, let's go. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm.
I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to something study in another country, for example. In oh, next, I get a a good job. Okay. I read number two. What are you gonna do after this class? In my case, I gonna make the uh, uh lunch. <laughs> okay. And I I gonna take a shower. <laughs> mm, okay. In my case, yes, I take I'm gonna take a shower too. And I and next I'm gonna uh, watch a soccer match in the afternoon. Okay. In my case, I'm going to do the dishes. Okay. Okay. You are coming. Yeah. In my case, I'm going to, after the class, I make my lunch and also I'm going to work in the platform and then I'm going to watch, watch TV with my mom and that's it. Okay, great. In my case, number three, uh, what are you going to do for your next holiday? Start with me. In my case, I don't have a plan, but I think probably I stay in my home. I will stay in my home. In my case, I don't have a plans too. I don't have plans too, but maybe I'm gonna visit my Grandma. Okay. You were saying? Okay. Uh, well, let me tell you, I'm going to the next holiday. I'm going to go to the beach with my family. And also, I'm going to um, shopping. <laughs> with my best friend and okay. that's it sounds great okay you're okay my, uh, i think i i'm gonna go to the beach with my family or okay. i'm gonna go to the um, volcano of santa Ana. Okay, great for you. In my case, yeah. I'm going to visit my, my sister in Soyapan. Okay, great. I read the number five. No, number four. Are you going to meet anyone at the weekend? In my case, I, I'm not going to meet anyone. Yes, me neither. I don't have plans for this weekend. Only study. Yes, only study at home. <laughs> okay. At the platform. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. and number uh, five. Are you gonna watch television tonight? I I not I am not going to watch television because it's uh, for me is uh oh uh, bar. Yes, I prefer see my social media and the videos on YouTube. Really? The television uh, is bored. <laughs> yes. In my case, yes. I'm going to watch television wow. tonight. Every night. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. 
Okay. In this afternoon, too. I'm going to watch. Okay. Which case, program do you watch? For example, in the afternoon. <laughs> in this afternoon, soccer match. In, in the night, I don't know. Uh, no, so upper, no. For a moment. Uh, really? <laughs> no, no. I upper, no. Yes. Yes. I don't know. La Rosa de Guadalupe. Yeah. No. No. La usurpadora. No. Ah, no. no. pero bien, ¿sabes qué? Ya ves. Yeah. Yeah. Ok. Yeah. You It's know. good, but for the moment, no. You know that. Ok. Yeah. Ok. Uh, what book are you gonna read next? Can you hear me here? Yeah. In my case, In my, case I, my I I going to read uh the Bible is uh for the moment is only book I I read. So do oh, I really? I'm gonna read the Bible. Is the best book that you can read. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, in my case, I'm gonna read a book uh, that a friend created, but I don't remember the name. But uh, he lives in Spain. Okay. Bye-bye. Guys, is it me or you are having problems with Zoom taking you out? It, yes, teacher. Uh, I'm <laughs> having, you know, I'm having problems with Zoom today because I am maybe listening in one room and then it takes me out and takes me back. I don't know. It's really yes. So I'm going to tell you, if, if, if I go out, I mean, and I and I lose connection, don't go out from the class, okay? Okay. Because okay. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. It takes me out, it takes me in. It takes me out, it takes me in. I don't know. Please do me a favor. If if internet is taking you out and you come back, please, I need you to type in which, when you come back, in the chat, type in which room you were. Because if not, I'm going to send you to any room because I don't remember. I mean, there are a lot of people in different groups. And maybe you were in room number one and I'm going to send you to room number five. So please. Okay. okay. Would you like more time? I was with Emerson and they were having a nice chat. That, I, that's what I like. All right. These kind of questions um, have to make you like feel, you know, uh, how can I say? I forgot the word. Okay. <laughs> that's, I forgot the word. <laughs> I know. Today my hamster is slow. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Who has a question? Who has a question? Ah, Helen, me, you have teacher. A yeah, ask me. In my case, we are talking about uh, our careers, but we don't know how we say. Me falta un año. Oh, I'm missing a year. Para I'm salir missing. para graduarme. I'm missing I'm a missing? year to graduate. I'm missing. I'm missing. Like miss. I miss you. Uh huh. I'm missing Can a you year. Right in the chat. Sure. I'm missing a year to graduate. Uh, in English, when you are not graduated yet, you are an undergraduate per, a student, an under undergraduate student. You can say, I am an undergraduate student in psychology. Yeah, or instead of saying I'm studying psychology, you can say I'm an undergraduate student in psychology. That means you are not graduated yet. You got it? Mm -hmm. You can say that. I learned those terms because I remember I, I was, um, you know, if you are, who is at the university right now here? Who is studying at the University of El Salvador, for example? Somebody? Me. Me. I'm going to tell you the University of El Salvador, if you didn't know, the University of El Salvador has a, a scholarship department. Investigate. 
because they have very good scholarships, but nobody takes them. I'm going to tell you why. Because they don't know English. Uh -huh. Las mejores becas se las agarran ellos porque son las... Digo las mejores becas porque son a los países que hablan español. España, right? Mexico. Pero hay becas a Suiza, hay becas a Suecia y nadie las toma porque no pueden hablar inglés. Uh -huh. Entonces, a ver, igual. Be very interesting Teacher, for you. Where I found this. Oh, eh, search Lucero, search for or ask in 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 la ¿Cómo se llama? En el edificio en el en el edificio administrativo central. Pregunte dónde está el departamento de becas, ¿ok? Porque yo pertenecí, yo fui parte de un programa que era enseñarle inglés a trabajadores de la universidad y a estudiantes que optaban para becas, all right? Pero las becas desperdiciadas son las becas que hablan donde tiene que hablar inglés usted. Ajá, uh -huh. so go and investigate. It will be a great opportunity. A veces por no saber opportunities, go. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. In my case, for example, I I like to uh, continue studying, for example, on England, but I need uh, Keep on English. a lot of things uh, yes the, uh, the first uh, i need to speak english very well strongly well yeah and number the second one. a lot of things yeah because uh, if you would like a scholarship they will ask you for a toefl exam and toefl exam is hard yes yeah. yes because for, I... even for teachers even for teachers toefl exam is hard yes yeah. Yes. I have family uh, there mm -hmm. in Europe, but it's difficult to travel. Yeah, yeah, difficult. But take 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 the opportunities. There are a lot of opportunities. Teacher, where place uh, did you say in the national university? Oh, the scholarship department. Department. Okay. Thanks. Fíjese que el Zoom ahorita está bien loco. Ya me fijé que está loco el Zoom. Les voy a decir por qué, porque ahorita los iba a mandar otra vez a los rooms, pero se los estoy diciendo en Spanish, pero en el, en el, en el grupo 1 no me aparece nadie. En el 2 solo dos personas. I don't know what happens. I know. I will, I will recreate this. I don't know what happens. Give me a second, please. I got it. Recreate. Okay. Si los he cambiado, I'm sorry. It's because I don't know what happened here. Let me see. I'm going to give you the, the chance uh, so you can keep on practicing. If you are with new people, better. I don't know what happens. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happens here.
Okay, very Okay, 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 very good. You didn't have any problems this time with the internet? No? No. 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 There, me neither. All right, me neither. Thank God. Okay. Well, with this practice, we're going to close uh, that topic, all right, about will and going to, and we're going to move to the next topic today. Uh, I'm going to show you. This topic is related to modal verbs. Do you know what a modal verb is, everybody? Yes. Yeah? No. No. I'm not sure. I okay. know, but I remember. Modal, modal verbs, everybody, are, ver are modals that modify the meaning of a verb. For example, if I say, imagine if I have the verb eat. Okay, I have the verb eat. Then I use the modal verb can. If I say can eat, should eat, must eat, am I saying the same? Is the no. idea the same? No. No. Or if no. I say, for example, have to eat, or if I say, for example, might eat, those are modal verbs. Modal verbs. Debería. Exactly. Debería. Exactly. Modal verbs modify the meaning of verbs. Okay. For example, if I say, I can, you know, teacher, I can't eat sugar. That means that I don't have the possibility to do it. That means that I don't have it permitted because of my health, for example. Teacher, I can't eat anything with sugar. Or, you know, you should eat more sugar, teacher, because, yeah. So they are different things. If I say should, if I say must, if I say have to, if I say might, the verb modifies its meaning. That is a modal verb, okay? Got it? So yeah. right now, yeah. I'm going to show you some modal verbs. Desde ya les advierto. Hay unos que no se usan mucho. There are some modal verbs that are not... Um, frequently used. They are not common in speaking. They are more common in reading. They are more common in, in books, or, but they are not very common for speaking. Okay? I'm warning you. I'm going to show you the video. Let's take a look. And later, I'm going to explain it to you little by little. All right? Uh, you will tell me if you can see the, if you can listen to the video. Let's see. I, yeah, second. I will mute all the microphones. All right? So you are listening to that better. Can you let me know? Let's see. Can you listen to that? Yeah? yeah. Yes. Oh, sure. yes. All right. All right. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Let's learn today about modal verbs. Modal verbs are a type of auxiliary verb. Modal verbs show modalities. For example, ability, permission, prohibition, advice, obligation, or necessity. Today, we are going to study a short list of modal verbs. Let's see three modal verbs to start. Must. The meaning of must is an obligation or firm necessity or probability. An example of obligation. I had an accident and now I must go to the police. I had an accident and now I have to go. This is an obligation. Let's see an example of probability. She doesn't stop reading. The book must be fascinating. She doesn't stop reading. This book must be exciting. So must is a probability in this case. Next model verb, need to. Need to shows necessity. You need to send the report before 10 p.m. This is a necessity. Now, number three, have to or not have to. This shows obligation and four circumstances. For example, she has to complete the essay by Friday. This is an obligation. And she doesn't have to bring food for the party. This shows that the person is not obligated to do something. Now let's see other three model verbs. O2 or O2. It shows obligation and probability. You ought to call your mother more often. This is like an obligation. Have better. Use have better for warnings. You had better not drive in the snow. If you drive in the snow, you may have an accident. So this is a warning.
party. Let's model verb. Should. Should shows advice and uncertain prediction. For example, your hair is pretty long. You should get a haircut. This is a piece of advice. Those are some model verbs. Remember, we use model verbs before the main verb and we don't use verbs in the third person singular or verbs in the past. So don't add S to the verb and don't use verbs in the simple past. You have to use verbs in the base form. Okay, something important that she mentioned here is the verbs are going to be in the base form or in simple past? The base, base form. form. Base form. So, you have to think about uh, modal verbs using them with base form verbs. It is not possible to say, for example, I can eat. I can eat him. That's not possible. The verb has to be in base form. Now, she was talking about some modal verbs. Meaning of most is a began to talk about the first three all right you know these three right or do you do you see any a modal verb that is new here any the three mm, are familiar for you or the three are new for you okay they are new they are not new you know them you don't know them all right must this one is very formal and it expresses obligation all right yeah that means you do it or you do it ah teacher so this is formal yes and in a spoken language what can i say have to okay in a spoken language because if you pay attention give me a, a second if you pay attention must expresses obligation and have to expresses obligation so the most common to use speaking is have to, okay? Yeah, that is the most common in a speaking. Take notes about that because maybe you, you will need it later. And must is more like for books, for, um, let me see, manuals, manuals of instructions or something like that. Yeah. Sure? So, yeah? Must is like a uh, devo, yo devo or debe. Exactly, oh, no. and have to is the same. Uh huh. You need to understand. Yes, I think it's like uh, yo tengo. <laughs> exactly, must and have to, but and should debería. So, in English, for me and my recommendation is make the differences in English, not in Spanish, because if not, you will get confused. All right. So must is an obligation, firm obligation. For example, when you go to a bank, well, right now, you it is possible to use cell phones, right? Inside the bank. Yes. yes. Chat, I but mean, inside the bank. They want to hear noises. No, they don't, they don't want you, uh-huh. They don't want you to answer calls. So you must send pick up a call inside a bank. That means don't do it. Yeah, it is It is something firm. So obligation. And here they are, give, they are giving you some examples, right? I had an accident and now I must go to the police. Yes, because if you have an accident, you must call the police or you must go to the police. It must go to the police. Um, need to. Need to is very easy. This one expresses necessity. Something you need to do. Okay, for example, uh, something you need to do for passing this modulo, what it is? Tell me. What is something you need to do? It is necessary to do if you want to pass to this eat. modulo. No, if you want to pass this modulo. If you want to pass. I have to finish uh, the platform. Nah, but you are using have to. Uh-huh. I want you I to use to the platform. I need I to need finish to... my the platform. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you can say, I need to finish the platform. I have to finish the platform because it is an obligation and also it is a necessity, right? Yeah, so you can express your ideas with different, different models. It depends on what you want to say, all right? For example, if you talk about the obligations you have at home, we're gonna use have to or don't have to. Tell me some obligations that you have to do. I mean, that you have at home, some obligations. Clean the house. I have to clean. You have to clean, all right, what else? I have to wash my clothes. You have to what or wash? Wash my clothes. Ah, all right, you need to wash your clothes. All right, what else? I have, have to, make to make lunch. lunch. I have to make lunch, yes, because if not, children are like, mommy, we are hungry. Or your husband. I have to work. I have to work, yes, me too. I have to work. Because if I don't work, I don't pay. Uh, look, the electricity bill. I don't money. <laughs> Yeah, I have to work because if I don't work, I don't have money. Yes, that's nice. That's that's a nice idea. Imagine, I know, I don't want to see that. <laughs> it is really terrible. Eh, electricity is very expensive right now. Yes or no? Yes. 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 And in yes. December, it's going to be more. I know. Oh, God mm. will. God save us. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is clear. Is it clear? The difference between must, the difference between need to, and the difference between have to. Yes? A little bit, teacher. <laughs> Why? Why a little bit? Why? Tell me. What, what is the, the difficult I'm thing? I'm confused yeah. in have to and must because it's the, it's it's similar. the same. I mean, okay. it is the same. The, the difference. Uy, give me a second. Uy. Or it is the same album. An example of obligation. I had. It is the same. The, the difference, difference is, is the percent. To... No, doesn't have to do anything with percentage here. The difference is that one is formal and the other one is informal. That's it. Ah, That's okay. Uh-huh. So have to you... is for the the uh, for the houses. Uh, obligations not only houses obligations obligations that you have in your life i mean but uh it is more common for people to say have to okay. for example i i have friends i have friends from the united states and they are they are native americans and they almost never use must they almost never i mean if they want to remark something extremely that is an extreme obligation, they say must. But on the other hand, they only use have to. Have to, have to, have to, have to, don't have to, I have to, uh, I don't have to. For them, it's more common. In speaking, it's more common to say have to. But for example, if you are, uh, imagine, uh, writing. Uh, imagine you are writing to your kids uh, what they have to do at home, uh, Alba. And you make a list of house duties in English. You can use must if you want to be more like, um, if you need to emphasize the obligation more. I don't know if I'm clear. Yeah. Yes, yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Uh, because it's most different. more formal, and as I'm telling you, it's not very common in, in, in English, in spoken English. Or you like watching TV in English, guys? Do you like watching TV in English? Yes. Yeah. Not how TV, many videos? Movies, yes. videos, or how many yeah. times have you heard this this auxiliary? How many never, times? Never. How many times <laughs> you remember? Never. 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 Uh, five, five case, in my case, I watch TV in English. I watch videos in English, and I almost never listen to this one in English in a use used in English. But I have seen it in books. Have, to, yes. have a book. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where I have it. Well, but I have I have a lot of books in English. And books in English, yeah, you will find it. Yeah, because must remarks an obligation, fear of necessity. Yep. Got it? I got so, it. I'm going to tell you, don't complicate your life. Have to is for speaking. That's it. 
I don't want you to complicate your life. All right. I must and have and, and look at the other ones. I'm gonna show you the other ones. Let me see. I'm gonna show you the other ones. <laughs> de esos tres, O2 or Oda have better and should. Which do you think is the most common? Should. 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 Yes. Should. Should. Yes. You will find older and had better in written texts because in the spoken English it's not so common. That is the same. Yeah, like uh, exactly. Look, look at this order obligation. Another one of obligation. So you can be confused and you say, teacher, so must uh, have to and older are for obligation. Yes, the three are for obligation. Which one is the most common? Have to. Yeah. Y yo lo voy a poner a practicar con los más comunes. All right? For the ones that are for spoken English. Yeah, because older, as I'm telling you, is for books, for texts, eh, magazines, eh, formal language. All right? Así como dividimos el idioma in spoken English, I mean, formal English, informal English, también las expresiones las podemos dividir in expressions that you can use in spoken English and expressions that you only use for written English. Got it? I don't know if you get my idea. Yeah? Yes. I'm going to tell you something. As a teacher, I don't like to complicate my students with the things they are not going to use. I'm very clear and honest. I remember at the university, there is a topic. Hay un tema, se lo voy a, eh, se lo voy a escribir, solo para que sea una idea, una idea. I don't remember if it, ni me acuerdo cómo se escribe para decirle porque no lo uso. I don't use that in English. But we started that in English. Let me see if, uh, in beef. Just to give you, ah, the topic is like this. Ask me if I use it. Embibbed questions. Ask me if I use it. I don't use it. I don't use it in spoken English, but I learned this because I was studying to be an English educator. For that reason, as an English educator, you need to know grammar very well. But in practice, that's another thing. You get it? So I don't, yes, want, you, I don't, I don't, I don't want you to... Uh, uh, I want you to worry, okay, if when I'm going to use this one, when I'm going to use this one. No, we're going to use just the most practical ones. But I'm going to explain this one. <clears throat> so, ahora or ahora, it's a modal verb to express obligation or probability, all right? There is another one, there is another a modal verb that we can use for expressing probability, and it is more common, and it's this one. Might. Have you ever seen this one? Might? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, might is more common to express probability, all right? For example, probability. But people don't complicate their lives and they prefer to use this expression. How do you say tal vez in English? Maybe. 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 Yeah, that's what they prefer using. Maybe. Or perhaps that's another one si no la conocían aquí está perhaps this is very formal perhaps is another way to say maybe right you can say mm, perhaps i might go all right perhaps yeah, it's it's another way to say maybe okay uh, give me a second uh, emerson i'm going to finish and then you ask me all right uh, had better is for giving warnings okay mm -hmm. Yeah, you had better not drive. Have you ever heard these kind of expressions in a spoken English, in the English you listen to? I've never. No, <laughs> Stephanie, mm. I agree with you. <laughs> I have never heard this either. But if you read books, that I recommend you to read books in English. Do you like reading books in English? No? Yes. Sometimes. Yes, no? And I understand what the book are saying. <laughs> it is sometimes difficult, yes or no, Lucero, because of the language. 
yeah. is really difficult. Yeah, but because... when um uh since two months ago, I remember that all the time I was uh, translating the words, each word that I know doing, but now only I try to, if I know this, maybe I share the definition, but sometimes only I read and if I don't understand, try to understand with the context of the, the, the text. I'm going to tell you something, Lucero, that is a reading strategy for advanced learners. Guessing the meaning by context, right? That is one strategy. Because you are not going to be stopping every time you don't understand a word. So what do you have to do? Guess the meaning from the context. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a good technique. It is a good technique. All right. So, for example, here you have had better. It is for giving a warning. You had better not drive in the snow, all right? If you drive in the snow, you may have an accident. Teacher, mire, entonces, si no se usan mucho, ¿por qué los enseñan? <ríe> no se han preguntado eso. Yeah. Because you study English as a foreign language, and you have to learn English as formal as possible. Okay, and the last one is should should, and this one is more common, right? Should, it's to give advice, uh, an uncertain prediction, or to give suggestions. For example, your hair is pretty long. You should get a haircut. Okay, uh, Emerson, you have a question. Ask me. Yeah, I have a curious question. In yeah. English news, uh, they use formal English or informal English? Where? In the English news, for example, in ah, the no, 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 in English news, you will listen all these kind of words. Formal. Yeah, be yeah, because they yeah, English news, uh, formal English, formal English. Okay. Sería una excelente práctica. A veces aburre, pero es excelente práctica para listening. Listen to to the news in English. Okay. It is excellent practice. I recommend you to do it. Even I, I sometimes I'm like, okay, all right, let's see. And then I, ah, okay, I process the information. It's kind of hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you have questions, guys. Ask me. If you have questions, you can ask me. No quiero que nadie se quede con ninguna duda. Pregunten, pregunten, sin pena. Ask. I have a doubt. I have, I have a doubt. Hey, Stephanie, it, yes, ask me. I had better always use not. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, you can also use the had better uh, model in affirmative sentences. Okay. Yes, of course. Yeah, you can use it. But I, I'm, as I'm telling you, right, this is not something that is so common to use. Yeah, you had better not drive. Oda, O2. Yeah, this one is more for, for advanced grammar where if you want to, uh, if you want to, for example, take an exam. Yeah, you can do it like that. Somebody picture. else? Picture. Helen? Picture. Ah, wait, wait, wait. wait. You, uh, you need to take a picture. Thank you, Helen. I always forget. But give me a second, Helen. Rebecca, I think you have a question or somebody else? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, yes. Ask me. And have better change the third first form. For example, she had better. Uh, Rebecca, that is a very good question. I'm going to tell you something. With modal verbs, a student asked me that question today in the morning. With modal verbs, my dear students, for example, imagine you use should. I should go. We should go. They should go. And what happens if I have he? He should goes. What do you think? According to the video, what did the teacher say? It's the base form. It's the base form. Exactly. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have he, she, it. When you use a modal verb, you need the verb in base form. That's it. Got it, Rebecca? Yeah, but in the had better, no, it's the same. The she same. got better. Exactly. Yeah, teacher. Okay. But had is in past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
No, doesn't matter. You say, I had better. Uy, sorry. I, what happened? Okay. So in English, you say, I had better. Give me a second. I don't know who is. Okay, so you say, I had better. You had better. We had better. They had better. This information is going to be useful for you. She had better. This is going to be useful for you for the platform and the exercises. But for spoken English, I'm telling you, you, you will <laughs> never use it. Had better and it had better. Yeah, this is the form. So in all of them is the same, Rebecca. <clears throat> Must, should, have to. Well, in have to, there is a difference. Yeah, in have to, yes, it is a difference because I can say I have to. You have to, give me a second, Helen, please. You have to, they, uh, we have to, all right? They have to, but what about third person singular? She, she has to. to. In this case, yes. has to. in this case, yes, she has to, uh, he has to. And in the negative form, which do you think it's going to be? I don't have to, and the negative form for she, he, it? She haven't to. She doesn't have to. Exactly. Very good. You're going to use the auxiliary. She doesn't have to. Okay. You have to pay attention to that and you have to remember that she doesn't have to. Okay. So this, that is the only one which changes. But then the other ones for the negative, auxiliary, for the negative modal verb, for example, should is affirmative. And in the negative form? Should Very good. Should in negative form is going to be shouldn't all right yes and the others uh, helen do you have a question yes i don't understand well when we use had better i don't know i'm telling you right had, had better is when we are giving a warning when we are warning somebody do you understand the meaning of warn no yes ah, una, una advertencia Mm -hmm. uh, I don't understand. Uh -huh. yeah, but it's a little confused. Uh... That's why that's why I'm telling you, right? That's why I'm telling you. There are modal verbs which are not very useful. Yeah, for example, have better is not useful. But for the platform, imagine if you find an exercise with had better. Had better is to give a warning, to warn somebody. For example, you had better not drive in the snow because if you drive in the snow, you may have an accident. All right. Um, how can I say, ¿Cómo podríamos advertirle a alguien que no, um, let me see, que no maneje a velocidad alta? What is the sentence in English, everybody? Solo fíjense en la estructura que está ahí. All right. So how do you? You don't have better. You driving, don't have, drive, you, driving you fast. Have not. You, you have better not. You have better not. Exactly. Yes. You, give me a moment. You had better, you had better not, uh-huh. Drive, drive fast. fast. You had better not drive, drive fast. fast. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, you see? You had better not drive fast. Very good. How do you, um, well, also everybody, uh, have better has other uses. Uh, el had better también se puede ocupar para dar sugerencias, suggestions, y para dar advice right to give advice yeah so eh, cuando yo estaba preparando mi clase ayer me quedé pensando y dije wow ponen un modal verb acá pero hay modal verbs que pueden tener más de dos usos ok por ejemplo had better Yo lo he leído más para sugerencias, suggestions, to give advice, all right? For example, eh, si yo quiero darle la sugerencia a alguien, eh, debería de buscar un hotel más barato si va a un, otro país. 
podemos decir dos maneras. You should look for a cheaper hotel or you can say you had better look for a cheaper hotel. In this case, I can use had better for giving suggestions, okay? It has, I mean, it has different uses. It has different uses. Had better has different uses. Uh, let me see. I'm going to send you a picture. Le voy a mandar unas fotos ahorita. I will send you some pictures uh, with some information. So you can see. Give me a second. Mm, because I think um, had better for you is new. It's the first time you see this one. Yes or no? Yes. Give me a second. So you'd better, I'd better, and also we can make a contraction. Let's see. Uh, I will send you the picture in this moment. Mm, 73. Teacher, okay. don't forget to take the screen. Yes, thank you, thank you, Gabriel. Thank you. Yes, 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 you are right. Yes, give me a moment, please. Okay, uh, I sent a picture there. Voy a tomar la, la captura ahorita. Ya se nos acaba la clase casi. Give me a moment. 73. Okay, uh, please, can you turn on your cameras? Thanks, Gabriel and, and Helen, for reminding me about the picture. Today is class number 15, everybody. Class number 15. We almost finished our modulo. All right. Mm, class number 15. Today is October 25th. All right. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a picture, the first picture. All right, one, two, and three. All right, very good. Picture number one, and I'm gonna take picture number two. Let's see. Okay, the next one. One, two, and three. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well, um, I sent a picture in the in the chat. Can you can you see the picture in WhatsApp? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. You if you see if you see you have more information about about the the models, right? Not only one meaning. You can have different meanings. Uh, for example, had better. You can have had better for giving advice. Had better for, ay, las mandé al revés. Era primero la última. De, okay. But had better is eh, for giving suggestions, giving advice, and for and for warning. In, aquí lo han usado como for giving warning. But it has other uses. Okay. So my recommendation, my recommendation is get familiar with the most, it's, it is an, aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Helen. Yes. It is another synonym of shoot. Yep. So um, it is better if you get familiar with the most common ones, all right? I'm gonna send you also some information with the with the odor. Give me a second. Miren, ustedes no tengan pena en preguntarme lo que no entiendan porque yo para eso estoy, para ayudarles. Pero sí, soy bien um, sincera a decirles que hay auxiliares que para hablar inglés no los vamos a usar. We're not going to use them. Okay? Uh, give me a second. Vaya. Y miren la foto que les voy a mandar ahorita para que sea un poquito más fácil para ustedes. Okay, give me a second. Uh, 73. We can use, if we want to talk about uh, giving advice and giving recommendations, we can use three. Should, order, and have better. Okay? I sent the picture over there. Ahí están los tres como reunidos, right? ¿Y cuál es el que vamos a usar más in spoken English? Should. 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 Yes, that's the one that we're going to use uh, more commonly, right? Should. And also the ones for expressing obligation. I'm going to send this also. Give me a moment. For, exp for expressing obligation. All right. Le voy a mandar acá una picture in Spanish. Eh, ah, no, but this is from, okay. Give me a second. Hold on. Now I'm going to send you some models of obligation. All right. We have, 
modals of obligations as well. And um, okay, I will send you this picture as well. I mean, we can use different models for different different uh, Now, if you pay attention to the next picture, the next picture that I sent is modal verbs of obligation. Must, have to, need to, should, and oughta. Oughta to teacher for obligation. Yes, for obligation and giving advice. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to tell you is, if you have, for example, to work on the platform, pay attention to the to the video. No sé si alguien tomó screenshots de, de esto, no? Yes. Yeah, from, from this, must, need to, have to, las pueden tener a la mano, you can have them uh, at hand, so you can use them. Para mañana le voy a dejar una tarea, it's going to be a spoken homework, but you are going to use only the most common modal verbs, okay? I'm not going to tell you, all right, give me a sentence with each of them, no. We're going to use only the ones that are common for speaking. Okay, let me see. Um... I will take a picture from this one, just for you to have this this here. Uh, let's see. Okay. And in the next one, I will have you with the next picture that is oughta, should, and had better, right? Because if you pay attention, they have more than one use. And they mixed almost all of them here. Okay sent the pictures. Now, I will give you the homework for tomorrow. For tomorrow, what I want you to do is, ah, I have another picture too. Uh, I was, I had this picture in my, in my PowerPoint presentation. We have here modal verbs in English, also condensed. I'm going to take a picture. But teacher, imagine this one, shall, another one for suggestions. <laughs> But this one, este se usaba mucho en el inglés eh, viejito, all right? ¿Ya han leído la Biblia en inglés? It is very difficult because eh, there are some words that are part of the old English because English every year and with the time has been like renewing, se renueva, English uh, renews. All right, so these are other modal verbs that you can use. Now, I'm going to give you the homework for tomorrow. It's going to be very, very easy. Can I can I delete this? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So for la me. Yeah. Recording in progress. <laughs> me sacó, me sacó, me sacó el Zoom. Vaya, le voy a dar la tarea. I'm going to give you the homework for tomorrow. Can you see the screen? Yeah? Yeah. Yes? Can you see the screen? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Now, uh, the homework for tomorrow, everybody, I'm going to I'm going to give you an easy homework. Easy homework. Okay, so homework for tomorrow. Homework for tomorrow, but please, uh, I would like you to do this homework. Okay, I would like you to Okay. I will, I will give you a mini homework. I would like you to type three, three things you must do. Three things you must do. Um, in your English class, all right? Three things you must do in your English class. Three things you have to do at home, okay? Three things you should do you should do to learn English, okay? Let me see, three things you must do in your class, three things you have to do at home, uh, three things you don't have to do on the street, and three things you should do to learn English. I'm gonna give you a, a mini homework only with the most common modal verbs, okay? If you would like to add ah, three things, yeah, three things you should do. So must, have to, don't have to, should, ah, and sorry, 
three things, three things you need to do to pass an English course or a university subject. I would like you to do this homework, everybody, because we're gonna be practicing in mini groups, okay? Got it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good, excellent. Excellent, 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 okay? So, uh, well, on your on your platforms, you have a uh, unit number four. Ya pueden terminar la unidad cuatro y hacer el examen, all right? Units three and four. Mañana vamos a tener práctica con esta tarea para que podamos reforzar un poquito más y vamos a comenzar ya la unidad unit number five, ¿ok? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, ask me. When is the last class? Next week. <clears throat> Yes, increíble. Moment, please. Ay, 